In the last video, we got a marker to display when, after we've selected a Google a suggestion from the Google Places API. And we also included this information button. So I, if I click here, it gives me more information on the location that we just clicked. But unfortunately, the, in, all the information isn't able to fit in the info window. So we're going to need to build a custom info window and then adapt it to our info window. So that's what we're going to get started on in this one. So to start off, we need to build the layout for our, our info window. So we're just going to create a new layout resource file and we'll, we'll call it uh, custom info window. Pretty uh, self-explanatory name. And uh, we'll set a background. Whoops. Background of that white border that we made earlier and add some padding of 10 DP. And then inside here, we're going to create another linear layout and do match parent and whoops match parent and wrap content and it's going to have a vertical orientation and this top one will have also no this is going to have horizontal orientation horizontal and so inside here we just need a title and we need uh, uh, a text view for the snippet so text view wrap content wrap content and we'll give this an id of title and we'll do some layout gravity center horizontal and ellipse size we'll do end max lines for this one we're going to do one because we only want the title to take up at the very most one line and we're going to add some text color uh, just black is fine or no uh, zero 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 is black zero 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 and we'll do text size of 14 sp Oops. and then text style of bold. Now we can write in something for our snippet. So we can just do text view, wrap content, wrap content again, and do ellipse size. Let's do uh, end, sorry. And then max lines, just do, I mean, 10 should be fine. I don't see we ever needing more than 10 lines for any of that information. And text size will be 14 SP text color let's do um, we'll do like a like a gray color there we go just so the title will be a little darker and it'll also be bold well actually it, it'll be bold so we can just do this we can just do this black also oh whoops black um, they'll both be black this one will be bold that one will be not bold okay now we have our custom info window layout now we can build our adapter class so right click go to new Java class and we'll call it custom info window adapter and we'll extend no no not going to extend we'll actually implement google map dot info window adapter and we'll implement the methods that it recommends we'll implement the methods that it requires actually we don't really have an option and what so we're going to need to do private final view m window and private whoops private context m context and then we're going to insert a default constructor so we need to nope that's wrong insert constructor get the context and then inside the constructor i can go m window equals layout inflator uh, dot from and then pass the context and then inflate r dot layout dot our custom uh, window layout and then pass null and that should be good for the constructor and now we're going to create uh, one more method and this is going to be actually for setting the text to the view so we'll go private void uh, we'll do render window text and it'll take the marker and the view and so string title equals marker dot get title and text view uh, text I guess I can title equals text view view dot find view ID r dot ID dot title oh I forgot my equal sign up here. And then below that we can say so if our title isn't null so if title doesn't equal nothing so if the title 
is not null. Then we'll do text view title, just set text to the title. And we want to do basically the exact same thing for the snippet. So we'll do snippet, marker.get snippet, and then text view snippet. And I think I named it snippet. Yeah, it should be snippet. It's not coming up. Let's take a look at our layout again. Uh, oh, I didn't give it an ID. There we go. So we gave that an ID of snippet. And we can close that, go back into our adapter so that problem goes away. Uh, so if uh, snippet does not equal null, then text view snippet, set the text to the snippet. And we're almost done. We're just going to go into our get info window method here and then uh, type render window text and we can pass our marker and we can pass our window. And then copy that line and exactly the same thing in the get info contents. And that should be good. So we have our adapter made. Now we can go back into map activity and just up here um, in our, let's see, the move camera method here. So this one is the one with the place info. So we'll do mmap uh, set info window adapter and then we can do new custom info window adapter and we can pass our context. So map activity dot this and that should be all we need to do. So let's run the app and see if it's uh, working as we expect. Okay, and press map. And we'll search for our Universal Studios because that's what we've been doing the whole time. And press the info button. And it's still not showing everything. Let's head into our adapter and, oh, that's why. Need to, need, gotta return the window here. So return window and return window. Let's try running that again. Okay, go to the map. Check Universal Studios, hit the info button. And there we go. So now it's giving us all the information. We can see we have the address, we have the phone number, we have the website, and we also have the price rating. And then if we click the info window again, the info window disappears. So everything is working as we expect at this point. So that's all we're gonna do with the Google Places API. We can now get suggestions, go to locations, get information, all that good stuff. Um, now we're gonna work on the Google Place Picker. Uh, well, it's part of the Places API actually also, but it's a, it's a Place Picker widget. So basically what, when you click on it, it will it'll take your, into account your location and it will give you information on a bunch of locations that are near yours. So um, I'll demo it in the test application. So that's what this little icon is going to be right here. If we click on it, it will open up a completely different screen and it will give me information on uh, addresses that are close to mine and I can click on them and then I can select it and it will take me to that location and it will it can give me information on that location also. So that is what we're going to be doing in the next video.